I know we've been talking a lot about Summer League and basketball, but I had to bring this topic out of the shadows because one number in baseball, 7.2. That's the percentage of black MLB baseball players in the league right now, the lowest since it was first being tracked in the early 90s. I talked to Curtis Granderson, Jimmy Rollins, and Dexter Fowler, all former black MLB players, to hear what they thought were the reasons. With the 2022 MLB draft nearing its one month anniversary, it's important to recognize and remember why this draft class, or at least the first round selections, made history. For the first time in the MLB draft history, four out of the top five draft picks were black players. Drew Jones, Kumar Rocker, Tamar Johnson, and Elijah Green. In total, nine of the selections in the first round were black players. But let's go back to that first stat real quick. First time ever. For a game that's been going on for over a century, and Jackie Robinson's 75th anniversary this year for his debut in the major leagues. It begs the question, why just now? What took it so long? And the most important question, what is causing the decline in black major league baseball players? A number that we saw at 18.2%, its peak in the 90s to 7.2% this year. I talked to Jimmy Rollins, Curtis Granderson, and Dexter Flowers all former black Major League Baseball players. There's a ton of black dudes coming up right. down here, and then it just started dwindling off, dwindling off, dwindling off. And I just think it was just like baseball was too slow, it was too expensive. Until about 13, 14, everybody played baseball. And then it just started. And then, and real life decisions. Yeah. Kids in high school, the straights come along, and trying to get some money. Football is killing it. UFC is killing it. Basketball is killing it. Extreme sports are killing it. And they're all on par. Baseball has kind of maintained, which has made it a challenge. Expenses have definitely been one of the reasons behind the decline. Paying for equipment, showcases, and travel baseball nearly being mandatory. It makes it difficult for inner city and low income kids to play at a high level, or at least what Jimmy said, after the age of 13. But also, the game that we call America's pastime isn't as entertaining to watch as LeBron James or Kevin Durant trading buckets, or Patrick Mahomes throwing a deep Tyreek Hill as he throws up the do sign. My rookie year, we had eight or nine players, and six of us started, two was in the bullpen, so it was like heaven. Mm -hmm. By year three, it's myself and Marlon Burke. Everybody looks like someone else and doesn't look like you. Who do I go to? When I asked the guys what could help solve these issues, Jimmy pointed to Curtis and said, that man right there. Currently, Curtis is the president of the Players Alliance, a nonprofit organization filled with current and former MLB players working to address the obstacles and challenges facing the black community. There are a lot of black young players playing. Now we got to keep them in it. We got to get them over that step. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And get them over that step. The step is getting drafted. OK, you got drafted, but we got to get them to the next level. But organizations like the Players Alliance, top players like Mookie Betts speaking out, and top black draftees, the wheels are starting to turn again. Hopefully, it's in the right direction. For Turner Sports, I'm Lawrence Price. Honestly, it felt like I could have talked to the guys for hours. If you want to see the extended version of the video, it will be on YouTube after the show.